Welcome back to another Introvert Diaries, where I show you what I get up to on my own, because I like to be on my own. currently Thursday. I've struggled a little with filming this week. I've just been juggling a bit of work and a bit of this and I've been neglecting you guys. So let's spend a lovely little winter stay together. I think it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm just doing a bit of skincare. This is my new love in life. This is the Caudalie Reservatol Lift Instant Firming Serum. I couldn't tell you exactly what this does, but I bought it because everyone was like, this gives you a facelift. Not that I needed one, but I was very curious what people meant by that. I really, really enjoy it. My skin loves it. I've got quite sensitive skin and it drinks it up. And I do feel my skin just looks a little bit more like, I don't know, plump is the word for it. Like it does look a bit more like, oh, lifted and glowing when I use this. So this is what I'm going in with. So I've freshened up. Now it's time for some breakfast. I'm excited. Wasting any dreams this Christmas I've made my wish upon that star The only dream of which my list consists is To always be wherever Yeah, there will be no praying for the snow to fall It would not make a difference to me at all No, I'm not wasting any I'm currently drinking my coffee, scrolling a little bit of Pinterest and watching some YouTube, which is such a lovely start to this cozy winter day that I'm having. At the moment, I'm absolutely loving lighting candles during the day because it is just dark even in the daytime at the moment here. And it just kind of brightens up and cozies my space, which I'm loving. So I bought a lot of quite cheap candles over the week and it just means I can use them and I won't feel bad about like wasting them or anything, but they make me feel good. So that's really nice but I want to show you guys all of the Christmassy bits that I've bought over the last few weeks and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting until it's time to put them up but I think it is now the time I'm completely completely addicted to looking at house inspiration on Pinterest. It's just my favorite, favorite hobby right now. Ever since I got home from Cannes, from being a month away from home, it completely confirmed to me that I want Ireland to be my base. This is where I want my home to be. So every night I scroll Pinterest and I get inspiration for my future house that I don't know when I'll ever have it, but yeah. I really would love like a cottage to renovate and do up. I would love 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 something like that so we're putting that out into the universe which i just i cannot wait for that time in my life but for now i just enjoy that idea through my pinterest board it is time for a very exciting haul 
I have all my Christmas decorations here and ready. I'm so excited right now. I'm so, so excited. I've been so ready for this. So I wanna show you guys some of the things that I got before I start putting things up. I love watching like hauls and Christmas hauls and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this. But first off was TK Maxx. So I got these two little guys. <laughs> Blanket on the end of my bed at the moment is red and pink and it's a beautiful red and pink stripe. So I wanted to kind of continue Continue with that theme so we're doing red and pink this year these little guys <laughs> they're the cutest things I've ever seen in my life they're like gnome Santas anyway we've got pink and red stripe and hearts it's just a 10 out of 10 all over I'm envisioning them maybe on my mantelpiece or on a shelf we shall see I got a little popcorn bobbles they're for Christmas trees but I might just hang them off my shelf or something I just thought these were very cute they're from Sauston and Green I'm not gonna be able to remember where every single thing's from, but it's either Sauston and Green, Flying Tiger, or TK Mac. Are you joking? This one here is actually a candle holder and it is so, so cute. In the roof, it's little love hearts. And then they also had these little houses. And this one actually, it's LED, so you can light it up. <laughs> Here's another little bobble, which I actually thought would be adorable hanging off of my mantelpiece. I love, I love, I love. I got lots and lots of candles. So I got these pink and red striped ones. Very on theme, very on theme. I got some smaller little candles because I got some small candle holders. These are some, they're like, kind of like stars and they're little tiny candle holders. I'd say the candles are can only be lit for like an hour before they go out, but they're kind of adorable. I got these two little guys. <laughs> It's a pink and a red Santa. I got some Christmas cards because it's always just good to have them because you never know. Flying Tiger had the nicest little ribbons for presents, etc. I really, really liked these and I think I'm gonna go back there a little bit closer to the time to get more stuff for wrapping. I do like to put a bit of time and effort into my wrapping of presents because I just think it's nice to be presented with something nice even though it's gonna get ripped up so soon. Oh, I forgot I got this. This is orange cloves. It's from Sauce it's a candle oh, and I love anything orange cloves that kind of Christmassy winter smell some little candle holders they're so cute and then just more candles because I'm really really enjoying lighting candles at the moment these candles are absolutely gorgeous they're from Sauston and Grand as well and they are so 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 pretty I got a few of these for myself and a few for my mother I got this little Christmas tree candle which I don't even think I like because it's so pretty so that is most of my Christmas decorations you will see more of them there's one more thing I got as well from Flying Tiger that I wanted to show you guys and it's this little mug it's so pretty it follows my red and pink theme and just the bows are so so cute it is now time to find a home for these decorations if I can there's just so many of them but I'm very excited so let's get decorating I love decorating Okay, so this is everything. Anything green kind of themed is going to my bathroom. My bathroom has a green paint on the walls and I'm trying to stick with that. Okay, so these dead flowers have definitely got to go. I think they're properly dead. <laughs> everything glistens and everything's bright everyone's happy spirits are light i am sitting here thinking alone with my drink as i do this time of the year do you remember when love was around when we were aglow, the talk of the town When I'm sitting here drinking I can't help but think about you About us as I do this time of the year I want to take
take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members. It's a place to get inspired, learn new skills and put them all to work in a very impactful and practical way. You all know how much of a creative I am at heart and I love learning new things. Especially with these darker winter days, spend some time learning something new, that thing that you've always wanted to learn. For me, I've had an iPad and a pencil for years and I've always said that I wanted to get better at Procreate and illustration drawing. And even though it's not 2024 yet, I'm gonna start my goal now because you can start and learn whenever you want, especially with Skillshare. So I'm using Skillshare to grow and learn more about drawing illustration. The best thing about Skillshare classes is you can do it whenever you want, whatever time suits you, whether that's after work in the evenings, before work in the mornings, your lunch break, your weekends, you can take that Skillshare class whenever suits you. There are an endless amount of classes on Skillshare with a variety of topics, photography, filmmaking, social media, the list just goes on. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description box below will get one month free trial of Skillshare and let me know what classes it is that you guys are going to take and what skill it is that you want to develop. Love y'all! shower and I feel so so good nothing beats it in case you don't know what an everything shower is it's just basically like your big shower for me I only wash my hair I think about once twice a week so on those days I just do a shave I exfoliate I do all that jazz so I just feel extra fresh and clean I like to do it on a Thursday night and then a Sunday night it's nice to feel that way at the start of the week and it's also nice to feel that way at the start of the weekend so that's why I do it on a Thursday. I added a few little Christmas decorations in here as well this evening which just feels really nice. It's mostly just little lights and lots of candles. This room tends to not get great light in the winter time so candles just make the place brighter and cozier which I'm really enjoying. I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I've been loving in my shower at the moment. I chat a bit about my products a little more over on my TikTok and my Instagram, so I thought I would let you guys know what it is that I'm loving. One is a new favourite and one is an old favourite. This is the Detox Shampoo from Way. I absolutely adore this shampoo. This bottle I've had quite a while, but you can get refills and just refill up the bottle, which is amazing. Really strong shampoo. For example, I had a mousse in my hair there as well as some dry shampoo and it had been a few days since I washed my hair, so I went in with that one time and it's completely cleaned my scalp, feels really fresh. This is a new product I got from Way. So I bought this, I think maybe a week or two ago and I've used it twice. This is the scalp and body scrub. I was very scared of the idea of putting scrub in my hair. It kind of felt like I'd feel my hair and there'd still be bits in it afterwards. But this I'm really enjoying. So again, if I've got like a buildup of product or I haven't washed my hair in a few days, this is what I'm going in with. I put it in my scalp, rub it in, use my massager on my scalp and then wash it out and my scalp feels incredible and lastly an absolute favorite i've talked about this on my instagram and my tiktok quite a lot it is the lakatan body oil shower oil sorry i love their body oil as well the scent of this is incredible but the actual application of this is so good it doesn't leave your skin oily but you feel really hydrated and it's amazing if you want to use it for shaving or anything like that really 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 love this and then I'm just going to put on a little bit of moisturizer now that that serum has set in. So last week, or probably two weeks ago, yeah, it's two weeks ago now since I got my hair done and I've gone back fully brunette. I spoke to you guys about how it made me feel kind of weird. Also, I get very red after the shower, so don't mind my red face right now. But yes, I kind of spoke to you guys a little bit in last week's video about how it took me a minute to get used to it. I don't know, it threw me off so much. Everybody was so 
so kind and loving about my hair and people were absolutely loving it and I just couldn't understand why I was feeling so insecure about it and I wasn't feeling comfortable. This sounds kind of sad but it is the truth and I think what was throwing me off was the fact that it was me. <laughs> like it sounds quite dramatic but I think because I was seeing myself and my natural self in the mirror, I was, you know, kind of worried and, you know, I think unkind to the fact that I looked like me. I just probably felt like I was more, this sounds so ridiculous, but the kind of like beauty standard of the blonde hair, blue eyes, like, you know, men love blonde. That kind of bullshit was probably feeding into the back of my brain being like, you're so ordinary now. like you're so boring <laughs> and it was such an eye-opening like realization of you know I still have a, a little bit to go with like loving my natural self and who I am that was such a tangent but anyway I definitely feel more comfortable in it now and I do feel more me and I'm not looking at that as a bad thing I love me she's cute she's adorable Faces, merchant, change. Your face remains